So I've been teaching online for 12 years and it's sometimes hard to believe that that is the case. How I got involved with teaching online really was because I was working in an institution at the time that had one campus with a really strong online presence, but they also, the campus that I was based at was really working toward um, hybrid and blended learning, so that's kind of how I got started. What I really, really like about it is it's the opportunity to bring a group of students together um, that wouldn't otherwise be together. You don't have the problem of geographical constraints. It's an opportunity to bring a lot of wonderful different perspectives together to the learning experience. And also, um, another thing that I like is the, um, the permanent nature of, the, of what we do within an online course as well too, because students have an opportunity to go back and do um, much more uh, in-depth reflection and thinking that perhaps they're not able to do um, in a traditional classroom. Is there one right methodology? My answer would be no, there is not one right methodology. Um, and you're going to have to probably tailor some of your work depending on your particular discipline. I'm gonna provide a few practical tools and tips. And then we're also gonna talk just a pinch about um, quality matters and quality matters standards. If you're not a reviewer, you won't have access to the rubric, but we can hit on some of the major points from that. I believe that this, the review need, should be a positive experience to look at what is positive about the course and also see where the possibilities are to make it a much more um, enhanced and better learning experience for the student and ultimately a better teaching experience for the faculty. You've never taught an online class and you're saying to yourself, I don't know if I want to do that. I'm not sure if I'll like it. The only way you're going to find out is, um, is to give it a try.